From somewhere in Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Have I ever had sex with an illegal alien? You bet. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. A different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. I got our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And, um, you know, I've talked on this program about uh, spying on your mate. You know, the uh, software you uh, should not be using uh, to be looking at what your mate is doing. I want to warn you, I found another device. This is not software. It's a device. And I just want to say it would be wrong to be uh, using one of these devices. I would not want you online trying to find it. Like by Googling or whatever. But I have seen there is now a device. It's about the size of your keychain. And what it does is uh, the person you're with, you could take the SIM card out of their cell phone, slide it into the device, and bing, bang, boom, you, after a while, take the SIM card out when it's done downloading, place it back in the person's cell phone. And then uh, you plug it into a USB port, and uh, it actually will take all of the text messages that are hovering around in the memory of anybody's cell phone and lay them out on like a spreadsheet. Are you aware that when you delete cell phone messages, you delete the SMS text messages or whatever, well, it, it, it's just like when you're on AOL and you delete a message. Yeah, it, it's only deleted to your eye, but the message still remains in there somewhere. And somebody invented a device that you could uh, take the SIM card out of somebody's phone, suck all the text messages out of it, and then uh, you can see what they've been texting to people. Now, the device costs $150, and I'm imagining there are people who want to know so much about uh, what their spouse or significant other is doing. They might spend $150 on that. And I'm just saying right now, uh, I, that's wrong. People have a right to privacy. Your wife or girlfriend has a right to have friends. And just because some of them are guys and some of them are attractive guys and some of them want to do your girlfriend or wife, and just because your girlfriend or wife likes the attention of other men and likes texting back and forth all day long with various guys that she knows, does it mean you have the right to buy this $150 gadget and to be looking at her text messages? It's, it's absolutely wrong to be doing this. You don't want to be using that SpectreSoft uh, program from Spectre, uh, that Spectre Pro software from SpectreSoft.com. You don't want to be using that. Looking at seeing uh, who she's been chatting with online and what website she visits or what uh, file she's been downloading, like naked pictures of other guys sitting on the toilet or whatever. You don't have a right to be looking at that stuff. She has a right to her own life. She has a right to have friends. Now, I know that despite my good efforts here on the air to get you to not be spying on your significant other. I know that many of you are doing it anyway. And I'm wondering how many of you are that are out there. How many of you are out there? How many of you have actually recently, and I mean recently, spied on your significant other and found stuff? And you understand that could potentially be illegal. There are wiretapping laws you might be breaking. 
Not to mention the uh, the trust that should exist between you and the person you're with. You shouldn't be spying on them. You shouldn't be using all the technology, all the software that's out there to catch people. You shouldn't. But I know that many of you do it anyway. So I'm wondering if you have caught your significant other recently doing something bad. And what techniques, what software, what technology did you use to catch them? I would like to know what you found them doing, how you found the evidence, what tipped you off. Did you use software or some kind of a technological gadget to find out what your significant other was up to when you weren't looking? So if you've been spying on your significant other and you have found something, by the way, I guess I'd like to hear from you. But uh, I certainly would love to hear from somebody who uh, has not uh, spilled the beans yet. Maybe you'd like to reveal this on the air. Oh, yeah. We'll call her right now. But uh, if you have recently been spying on your wife, your girlfriend, your husband, your boyfriend, your live-in, somebody you've been dating... Uh, call me at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Do you know some of the things I've done? I would tell you what I've done. I was wrong, of course, but I, I, what I did was legal. Okay. There are some chicks that I have dated, and I had suspicions about them, and I don't mean suspicions about you know, them dating other guys. I really couldn't care less about that. I'm more concerned about stuff that could get me in some kind of trouble. So I have spent the forty nine ninety five at one of these uh, search sites like ussearch.com or intellius.com, one of these, and I have uh, done background checks on women I've dated. First of all, I check every woman's age at reunion.com or ancestry.com. They've got birth records on millions and millions of Americans. And secondly, I have checked and seen uh, all kinds of things. I have found about women I've dated. Here's what I hear some of the things I found. I found one woman was not telling me her real last name. She had a married last name, but she never told me she had a married last name. I still was not able to discover whether she was still actually married or still actually living with her husband. But she told me her last name was X and it was really Y. And upon further review, at some point in time, there had been a husband with the same last name. I just couldn't determine whether there had ever been a divorce. This is somebody whose home I never visited. I found out that uh, more than one chick I have dated, by the way, this is the thing that women lie about the most, guys. And I've found this out by spending the money and having my own experience. Several different women I have dated have not told me that at some point in time they have filed for bankruptcy. You would be shocked if you saw the number of women I've discovered had filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcies. One after another after another. It's, it's an epidemic. It's one thing that women never want to tell you about themselves that they had a bankruptcy because they, they <laughs> first of all, women have heard me on the radio saying, if you've got a low FICO score, I shouldn't even be dating you. And I certainly would never have a relationship with you if you, if you can't pay your goddamn bills. I have dated women who have filed for bankruptcy. They were bankrupt. One woman I was seeing, <laughs> this was a fun one. One woman I was seeing, Never wanted me to come pick her up at home. And I was uh, suspicious, so I did some research. And I found out that she, uh, this is true, she lived in an apartment owned by some guy. Her telephone was being paid for by the same guy whose apartment she was living in. And uh, she never told me. She, I don't know if this guy was a boyfriend or a husband or... You know, she she when I confronted her about it, she wanted me to believe it was just a friend. Come on. I wasn't born yesterday. And uh, but trust me, when you're in my position, you need to do this kind of thing. 
I'm telling you, I have done research and I have found things out about women I have dated. And some of it is frightening. I'm going to tell you, frightening. No doubt about it. So if you have gone against my 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 advice and you've gone to Spectresoft.com and you've downloaded that Spectre Pro for ninety nine ninety five and you've been spying on what your significant other's been doing in the computer, seeing their passwords, looking at their email addresses, whatever, or if you went to that BrickHouseSecurity.com and you, you bought one of those gadgets that I've been telling you not to buy that's $149, where you could suck all the text messages out of some of the memory of somebody's phone from their SIM card. If you have done any kind of spy work and you have found anything dirty and disgusting that the person you've been dating has been doing, I want to hear all about it right now. Tom, like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. So for you, you only get from woman you sex, and that's it. Yes, because that's what women are good for. Oh, my God. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Trying to find out if you've been spying on your significant other and if you found anything out. Jay, hello. Jay, uh, how you doing? Uh, I'm Tom. You're Jay. That's right. How's things going, Tom? Great. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick comment. I'm a longtime listener, first-time caller. Thank um, you. The comment is I had a chick that I was with for a couple of years, and towards the end of our relationship, I started noticing some kind of weird stuff on my phone. I'm sorry, on my computer. Um, I, I do a lot of system maintenance. She doesn't realize I'm as good with computers as I am. And as I'm doing some routine maintenance, I realize I keep seeing this family key logger pop up. And um, I, I begin to realize, you know what? Um, my Internet passwords are compromised. And everything that I, I initially I think is very protected seems to be getting compromised. And um, I did a little research on what she had, and she had actually, I guess, purchased a product. Well, actually, she downloaded a product because I went into my download menu and saw she could download it off the Internet, a key logger, and it logged every keystroke that anybody on the computer was doing. Did you ever find out if she uh, invaded your uh, email accounts? Oh, yeah. I noticed that things were deleted. I noticed that things that I had saved were no longer there. I guess I had pictures of uh, things that I didn't want her to see or know about, obviously, and it stuff started ended up missing and rearranged. And I'm like, you know, I'm very meticulous. So I, I figured somebody had to be in it doing something. And uh, that's when I decided to do a system uh, check. And that's when I found the key logger pop up, and, uh, you know, it, it kind of, you know, it, obviously it pissed me off, but it kind of made me laugh because you realize, you know, girls are not as dumb as you think they are, and sometimes if they want to know something, they'll go to all type of lakes to try to figure it out. Did you have anything to hide? Um, I'd have to say, yeah. I mean, you know, there are certain things I didn't want her to know, you know, obviously. That's like what? I, was, I felt it was protected. What were you trying to hide? I mean, I had, like, you know, there was friends that I had that I didn't want her to know about, and, you know... Female I, friends? Friends, yeah. Female, you know. females. Female friends, exactly. The women you had banged or were about to bang? Uh, a little bit of both. Well, why did you have a girlfriend? Uh, well, you know what? At the time, I was senseless, you know, and, and, you know, I realized that for me, you know, it may not be for everybody, but for me, the single life is the best, so that's what I'm doing now, and so, you know, that's where I'm yeah, at. Yeah, but why did you have a girlfriend in the first place? Um, probably at the time, well, I can't even say probably, definitely at the time, I felt like, you know, that's what you're supposed to do, you know, you taught, you know, one for one, and, you know, that that's monogamy and all of that. And you kind of buy into it as guys, and then some of us are cut out for it, some of us aren't. And then I learn I'm not one of those ones that's cut out for it. I understand. Jay, thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Paula on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm great. 
Well, I am guilty of spying, but not to the extent that you're talking about. I actually did it old school. Um, was dating this guy for almost three years, had suspicions that he was doing stuff behind my back with his ex-girlfriend. There was a lot of communication going on. I had caught, you know, text messages prior. And uh, just recently on Saturday, actually, he had been at my house, and he accidentally left his phone. So I uh, looked through it, and I found some very incriminating pictures um, of his ex-girlfriend that she had actually sent him. And he responded with a picture of himself. So with Mr. Willie hanging out there, or what? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. With uh, you know, nice and uh, sitting slumped over the toilet. I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, he was. Uh, well, that's the one chick I caught lady. one time. A guy, a guy I'm said sorry. her. I, I caught a chick one time. She claimed she wasn't seeing anybody else, and, and her computer broke down, and she she wanted me to look through and, and figure out what was wrong. And I said, well, why don't I just tell you how to fix this? Because I don't really want to get into your personal life. And she said, well, I have nothing to hide. Go ahead. And I, Are you sure? And I got in there, and without uh, giving the graphic description, uh, there was a naked guy sitting on a toilet. <laughs> and Mr. Willie was on display right there, hanging over the side of the toilet. Isn't that just nice? It was very sexy, and uh, then she tried uh, telling me, oh, no, that's from years ago. Oh, that's right, from... right. But, but she didn't realize that these files have dates and times on them. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's what he tried to tell me, you know? And I said, really? Well, one ago was just uh, two weeks ago? How stupid you are. You don't realize that there's, you know, not only that, her phone number appears. I know who she is. Who is she? It's his ex-girlfriend. Okay. Did you... that he claims he's just friends with. He's been friends with her, and they've always remained friends. Yes. Well, friends don't send friends pictures of their coochie hanging out. Did you call her up? No, I haven't called her yet, but I intend to do so. Really? What are you going to say? I don't know. I, now I have to know what happens. What are you going to say when you call the girlfriend? Um, well, first I'm going to tell her I think she's disgusting and that I feel sorry for her that she deliberately would send pictures of herself like that, knowing that he's in a relationship with me. But, you know, maybe she doesn't know. He claims that she knows all about me. And, you know, this is not a new relationship. I've been with this man or was with this man for three years. We were living together at one point. So if I find out that she was deliberately sending pictures knowing that we were in a relationship in there, well, then that's a different story. Then we'll be having a different conversation. You mean you and him? No, her and I. Well, this isn't her fault. Because women are vindictive. Okay, no, I agree with you. If he allowed it to go on and she, for whatever reason, thought it was okay, then he's the bastard here, and he already knows that, and he's already backpedaling, trying to redeem himself. You can't redeem yourself from that. Well, why do you even but, take his call? This is the thing I don't understand. No, 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 I haven't, Tom. I haven't no, but why would you messages. want to call her or him or blah, blah, blah. Uh, You know, I don't know. I guess just because I want peace of mind. I guess I want her to tell me. You know that. how you get peace of mind? Uh, date somebody hotter, better, richer, uh, have a better life. Yeah, I pretty much already figured that well, out. Well, that's that's how you that's how you uh, get back at somebody. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of interested in a 25 year old uh, hottie. So you're only going down to 25. <laughs> hey, that's you know. Come on, young... step it down. Well, you know, the young ones, the 21 year olds, are barely 21. They're not, you know, this guy's a little bit different. So we'll see where it goes. How do you know? You haven't been in the sack with him yet. How do you know that? Oh, you have been. <laughs> Did well, you take I, any cell know, phone tonight, pictures? Be, Send those tonight over. Might, tonight might be the night, Tom. You never know. Oh, tonight might be the night. Look I'm at that. To see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, I love to hate you. Have a good day. Bye, right, Paula. Thank you. People spying on their significant others. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Megan on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Megan. How are you doing? Good. Oh, my God. I was laughing so hard because I listen to your show every day with my boyfriend, and he taps the computer and reads it all the time. I think it's so funny you're talking about that because I thought it was crazy. I didn't know other people do that. Chucky, <laughs> you didn't know other people do that? No, I thought it was crazy that he does that because we find about whatever he finds all the time. So I, I, I ask people all the time if that's weird, and they'll tell me, yeah, but I didn't know. 
other people do it. I think it's just funny. It's like, I, I mean, I guess it's our fault if there's anything bad. At, well, you know, first but. of all, at 20, why do you have a boyfriend? You should be doing whatever you want with whoever you want. I, this is my first one, I know. I mean, I what know. are you doing? Just, just stop. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know it's my fault. I mean, why would you want to? You, you want to have a boyfriend and you want to be, uh, what do you do, send uh, naked pictures uh, no, on your no, cell phone? No, I don't send any naked pictures, but I'll talk to, like, my guy friends and stuff on MySpace stuff. He doesn't like it. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, like, friends from, like, a long time ago, like, for years, but he doesn't like it because if they're attractive or anything. He says that they don't just want to be my friend. They want to. They want to sleep with me, so. But that's what I've been telling you for years. I know, I know it's true. I guess it's my fault. I guess you know. Do you have a MySpace funny. page? I've got eighty-six thousand four hundred twelve friends. You know, and eighty-four thousand nine hundred and twenty-three of them are guys who want to bone you. <laughs> yep. Yeah, no, they're well, my friends. A girl has a right to have friends. So my boyfriend's laughing right now. He knew you would say this. Well, it's true. So why don't you break up with him right now? <laughs> yeah, right. I'll be on the side of it. We're in the car right now. Are you kidding? Oh, but come on, do it right now. Get it over with. <laughs> no. No. <I'm> <laughs> Put him on the phone. Okay. Hello, dude. What are you doing? What do you mean? You know what she's up to. No, nah, she's not up to anything. I got uh, her on lock. She knows her role. Why, but first of all, pal, how old are you? I'm 23. You're too young to have a girlfriend. Let's start with that. Who cares what she's doing with other guys? I know. That's true. Too young, but I you, don't know. She's cool. I like her. Uh, like she's cool. She's, she, she's flirting around with every other guy in town. That's a possibility. I'm not it's sure not a that. possibility. I, I you caught her doing it. Um, she told I, me you I, caught her. <laughs> I know I caught her, but, you know, she's caught me doing things, too, so. That's my point. If the two of you want to do other things, why do you have to have a girlfriend? Why does she have to have a boyfriend? Um, I guess there's no really reason why, but it's cool. Uh, why do you do things if there's no reason for doing them? <laughs> I don't know. You don't it's, know? No, I really don't. So you do things, and you don't know why you do them? Um... Yeah, pretty much. Why do something if you don't know any reason for doing it? Because it's the easy way. Uh, there's nothing easy about it. <laughs> you know, you just bang anyone you want, and she bangs anyone she wants, and you don't have to check up on her, and she doesn't have to check up on you. That's a lot easier than what you have now. That's true. So why do you do it? Um, I guess probably money right now. Money, uh... Money situation, she helps out a lot. So. Oh, so you live with her. <laughs> yeah, I live with her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're yep. making me sick. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. See so you there I, living with your girlfriend while who's chatting with other guys. <laughs> and you just haven't caught her yet doing what she has already probably done. Uh, probably not yet, not yet. But yeah. she hasn't caught me yet either, though, so. I think I haven't gone on in two months. <laughs> you, she what? Nah, she's down in the back. I don't know what she's saying. I see. You know exactly what she said. Yeah. All right, Tom, I got to go. Blow me up, buddy. Uh, Jesus, no, I won't. No. Pussy chickening out at the last minute. one 800 tom It's Renee on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Great. Cool. Well, I'm 41. You know, I've been around. Kind of do your whole story. Don't try to spend a lot of money, but try to, you know, work with, like, I got the game. I got, I have some fun. I live at the beach, whatever. So I've dated older girls, younger girls, whatever, and I just dated this gal for about a year and a half that was a doctor. She's a vet. And she tried to give me that same sob story. The reason I talked to my ex fiance is because we're best friends and all this crap. And one day my laptop was something was messed up so i ended up uh saying oh i gotta check my stuff which was totally honest and she was here just use my computer right in her office so i jump on there and i'm checking some stuff for my work or whatever and all this flashing crap keeps coming up on instant message i'm like what is this stuff and i look and it's the ex-fiance with all this stuff and i was like oh really 
So what'd you tell her? Well, I told her, I'm like, I thought you guys didn't talk about me. You know, I thought you were just best friends and all this stuff and da-da-da-da. So, you know, so I gave her the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, whatever, I'll let that one slide. So, Stupid. Anyway, next thing you know, three months later, um, she claims her cell phone's not working because she went to L.A. for five days for work and all this crap, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Make the story short. She was dumb enough that she got a new cell phone, and she left her old cell phone plugged in on her desk. So I went in to grab some stuff, and I saw it, and I'm like, why is this thing lit up? I thought it didn't work. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to, what? So I flip it open, and guess what? There's all these messages to this other guy, and I'd left for 10 days for a trip. To, like, practically the minute I left town is like, oh, we're still going to ride your moto this weekend, and I get a big grin when I think about you and all this crap. And to this day, she still doesn't know that I know, and she's still trying to string me along. Like, oh, I hope you have a great day. I'm like, oh, get out of here. F you. So I love the text messaging thing, but you got to be smart, you know, if you're going to, you know, and she wasn't smart. She thought, uh, she, I outsmarted her, bottom line, 10 years older, whatever. But you think she's a vet, so you think she'd be honest, right? I think a lot of women are too stupid to know just how much checking you can do. Yeah, and see, the thing is, she, 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 because I didn't go to college, I'm a street smart guy, I invent things for a living, I got patents, all that kind of stuff, she's the went to college, she's a vet, she thinks she's smarter than me, and she doesn't understand, I've owned two online internet stores for over 10 years, so I'm, I'm, I'm tech savvy, you know what I mean? I do. So I was just like, what is the deal, you know? And I agree with you from yesterday when you were talking about the older, or not older, I take that back, the smarter babes are harder uh, to make happy in bed. Oh, my God. It wasn't even, it's just like, yeah, it's like doing a vet was like doing surgery, you know? It's like, oh, my God, if you move a certain way, oh, it's not worth the effort, man. But I living in Newport, you know, the bimbos you pick up up the bar or whatever. Yeah. Oh, so much more fun. Love that. And it's like, Half the time, you don't even spend a, 10 bucks on a couple of drinks if you're smart. That's why I say, what do you need a girlfriend for? you got to be getting me. Yeah, no, and I actually, you know what, I, I kind of actually worked out really good on this one and the fact that I kind of used her because we, I was in the same house renting in Newport Beach because I own property in Zion and in Washington, but I rent right on the beach because I live in a million and a half dollar house that pays 600 bucks. There's three of us roommates in a five bedroom house. Why knock that, right? Well, finally the landlord decided they're going to move in all this sob story. She's like, oh, why don't you stay with me for a while? I'm like, yeah, why not? In between finding places. So I live there for three or four months for free with her you know i couldn't beat that but then you know when all that funny crap i'm like i'm out of here see you later so i hung her out to dry you don't need to live with anybody no exactly but i mean it was kind of some fun but at the end of the day like i totally agree with like everything you got going on i mean i actually i went to this wet or uh, this 40th birthday party a week and a half ago in a 10 million dollar house in newport beach i'm there hanging out i meet this hot blonde all these guys are all over i kind of talked to her for a little bit but kind of blew her off so she kept coming to me a week later i end up taking her we went to this place called chronic tacos they spent uh, 19 bucks on some tacos she had the jack because she drank jack and coke also and it was blackout night, woke up in the morning, this babe's an attorney, she's a 10 body, just beautiful, older babe, see you later, she's like, called me yesterday, hey, you want to hang out again this weekend? I'm like, yeah, maybe Friday, maybe Friday or Saturday, boom, end of story. I'm like, that's how it is, the old days. Sounds good to me, Renee, thanks a lot for the call. Tom Like it. Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. From Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show at one 800 800 tom Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. We're trying to find out if you've been uh, spying on your significant other and what you have found. What have you found? 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to... Look at all of these. Stephanie on the top like your show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? Great. Well, I'm glad you are. I'm not so great, though. So I, like, just turn on your radio show, and I usually really don't agree with most of the things you say, you know, because I'm a chick, and that's how we all think. But um, so my boyfriend that I've been with for a year... 
um, sent a girl a text message saying that she's a cutie and with, like, a wink, but supposedly it's, like, some friend, which I know it is a friend because I know, like, most of it's friends, and I know that they talk about this one girl all the time from high school. But um, I just didn't really think it was that appropriate for him to be saying that to her when he, like, sends me text messages and says that kind of stuff to me. Why do you have a boyfriend? Um, I knew you were going to ask me that, and I was thinking of all these, like, reasons. But um, really, just because I want one. What for? Um, I want to get married. Yeah, but uh, you're too young to have a boyfriend. Yeah, maybe. That's what um, I figured you'd say, but I don't and, know. And don't now it proves out to be true because uh, look at his deal. Yeah, and, you know, I'm really upset about it because I would have never expected this from him. I've been cheated on before and stayed with the guy for an additional three years after So you've that. had other boyfriends, and as you see, you're all yeah. too young for this, but no. you refuse to accept reality. Yeah, reality's tough. <laughs> That's what reality is, dear. You know what? I try to make the best of reality, as bad as it can be. But, I mean, it's not even about having a boyfriend or not. I mean, I respect the fact that you don't want a girlfriend or whatever, or a wife or ever. This to is that. happening to you because the two of you are too young to have a relationship. Hmm. Well, okay. So, if I'm too young, I mean... Um, who's to say that, like, you're ever ready? I mean, is there, like, a... I will say that you're that definitely like... not ready at 22. And you were even less ready when you were younger and you had a three-year relationship. Yeah, four. Four, whatever. Yeah. Way too young. Mm -hmm. Way too. Okay. Right? I respect, I, I, I respect that. I don't think I'm... But look at the results. Okay, but every time that you have ever spoken to, like, a friend, I don't know if you have platonic girlfriends. What for? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, because it's fun to have friends. No, I have friends. Diversity of friends. I have plenty of friends. Well, see, I'm like a to I'm a tomboy type type of girl, and so and I honestly really do try to have girlfriends, and they never really work out that well. Well, the guys all want to bone you. I know they do. It's so sad. That's how it is. <laughs> but mostly because I'm hot and I act like a guy. It's like the best of both worlds. Well, and again, no man is your friend. They all want to bone you, and that's the only reason they talk to you. Dad. That's how it is. The sooner you accept that, mm -hmm. the easier life will get. It's tough to understand and accept in the beginning. But think how much time you are wasting with people who you think are your friend who aren't listening to a word you say. Yeah. And you use them, too, because do you ever tell them, you know what's great about you? That I'm not the least bit attracted to you. Yeah. And we will never have sex, no matter what happens. It's yeah, so I'll great that, that you're my friend. Do you say it? Yes. Uh, well, guess what? If they're still talking to you, it's because they don't believe it. Oh, yeah, they should. I don't I care. Mean, I never give them any reason to know. Darling, not. should, would, and could are not words in my vocabulary. Damn, you're a tough one. Uh, yeah, because I deal with what is, not what should be. Right. And that's what is. Mm -hmm. So. And you know it's true. That's the thing that's maddening about this phone call. You know that what I'm saying is true. Oh, I know. I totally know. And I think everybody knows. But I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, you you ha you're you're born with two things. You're born with a heart. You're born with a brain, and you use both of them. Um, you have more control over your brain and your thoughts and what you think and all that. But so then when you feel like this pull, like coming from your heart, it's it's a little bit you, you, you don't rationalize anymore. 
Well, it's time. Right. Well, put it this way. You do rationalize. That's why you keep having relationships and keep thinking you're supposed to have relationships. Because you continue to rationalize the things that happen to you. Mm-hmm. Instead of conceiving, conceding the possibility uh, that I'm right and you know I'm right. You keep saying you you know I'm wrong and you 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 want to get married you need to have a boyfriend but look at your track record. Thanks. <laughs> Are you married yet? No. No. Well, I don't want to be married right now. I want to be married married in the next few years. So. Well, but the, <laughs> fine. You know what? It, 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 uh, by the way, you go. You ahead. can't just meet some guy like and then have them marry you. And did you have? Did you go to college? Did you go to college? Uh, yeah, I'm graduating in May. Okay. And what are you going to become? Or were you one of those women who took English or English lit or something useless? Um, I'm a psychology major. Yeah, that, that's what women do when they don't know what they want to do. <laughs> so you're essentially going to college for the MRS degree. Okay, it was MRS degree. <laughs> MRS, think about it. I'm thinking it's not coming. Yeah, and you're you're college educated, are you? I am, but what what's what is MRS an abbreviation for? I don't know. Mrs. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was like an acronym, but okay. Mrs. So, but I'm not that kind of girl. Like, I will have my own career and all that, but it's, you'll have your own career for a couple you know. of years until you convince the guy to knock you up, or until you stop taking the pill without his knowledge, and then you'll slow it down or stop. That's what you will do. Well, actually, we don't even have sex, but and you don't have sex with your boyfriend. No right. one, no wonder he's sending out uh, text messages to other it women. Was his idea. That's not my point. That's my idea. He doesn't want to have sex with you anymore. Oh, I don't think that's it. I oh, you don't. There's like a whole lot. So, more so he wants to have sex with you, but he oh, yeah. stopped having sex with you, even though he wants to. It, 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 You're the queen of it, it rationalization. Has, there's, a, there's another part of the equation. Why here he's that a born again Christian? Yes. Stop it. He's had sex with others. He's had sex with you. Yeah. I think that's baloney uh, because he's busy sending messages to other women who he wants to have sex with. Trust me. Hmm. I confronted him about it, like, really non-aggressively because, oh. you know, but... um. My head hurts from this. Dear, dear, why are you dating a born-again Christian? Because I'm a born-again Christian. You are? Yeah. So why are you worried about having sex then? Well, I'm not worried about having sex. I'm just, I mean... Well, you just pointed out that he doesn't want to have sex with you. Right, but that's not, I'm not worried about it. It's just how... Well, you should be worried about it. Because women, uh, men who are interested in women want to have sex with them. No, he wants to have sex with me, but he wants to obey God. But he already had sex with you. I know, I know. That So I'm telling you, matter. there is that's something. A, yes, a it does. There's something suspicious about that. No, there's, that's a He stopped mis- having sex with you. If he never he had sex with me. you, if he was a virgin, I think he was a little kooky, but I would not, I, at least it would be consistent. He had sex right. with you and then right. stopped having sex with right. you. I know this. Believe me. There's it, something it, it, fishy about it. Stop making excuses for this. Stop. Stop what? Stop making excuses for this. It's not an excuse, oh, but I stop. think it's a common misconception uh, about... Common misconception, like you know what's going on. <laughs> You're in total denial. But oh, you'll find out the hard way, and you'll remember we had this conversation, darling. All right. Oh, I'm in pain. Absolute abject pain. The Tom Likas Show.